Hi, this instructional video is about writing slope intercept form when you're given a graph. Writing the slope intercept form when you're given the graph. And as you know, the slope intercept form is written as y is equal to mx plus b. And we also know that the b represents the y intercept of the graph. And then the m represents the slope which is actually a quotient of rise over run, also known as the rate of change in a given time function. It's a rate of change. So in this case, we can write this graph or write this into a slope-intercept form by first identifying the y-intercept. The y-intercept is 1, 2. Boing, right there. That's the b. And from this, what appears to be a line that goes through an intersect of x and y axes right there. You see that? That's how we determine that is the coordinate. What is the rise over run? The rate of change. So from here to go there, we go 1, 2, 2 steps up, and 1, 2, 3, 4 units right. So the slope is rise 2 and run 4. But this quotient can be reduced to become 1 over 2, and that is a simplified rise or the rate of change for this function. So now we have all the information we need to write the slope-intercept form, which is y is equal to 1 half x plus 2. Now this one, same thing as before. What is the y-intercept? On this y-axis, where is this line going through? At the zero. So the y-intercept is zero because that's still through the origin. And what appears to be a line that's going through the coordinate of negative 3 and 1, from here to go there, what is the rise over run? What is the rate of change? So you go down 1, which is negative 1, and 1, 2, 3 to the right. So the rate of change, or the slope, rise over run, it is negative 1 over 3, or it's just simply a negative quotient of 1 third. So that becomes a slope, and this is your y-intercept. So you could go y is equal to negative 1 third x plus 0, but since it's 0, we don't even have to put that there. We just simply go y is equal to negative 1 third x, and that will be the slope-intercept form.